I have to uh, begin by uh, focusing on the, uh, the statement from the statute that gives the board the authority to make this final decision, which is that uh, our, our role is, is critical in setting the goals and principles relative to instructional materials. I think that's really important. Um, my colleagues' comments about uh, questions of governance and, and uh, perhaps overstepping our, our authority in, uh, in going into the area of a materials adoption. Uh, it certainly has troubled me. I've given a lot of thought. Um, but one of my insights that I want to share is that a materials, an instructional materials adoption has an extraordinarily long cycle that tends to outlive boards and superintendents. Uh, no one on this board was present when the math that we are replacing was adopted. That was about five superintendents ago. So the call for accountability is very welcome and very important, but it's also very difficult to actualize. Once we adopt, we carry on with the quality of materials that we have chosen and th the limitations of those materials become our limitations for many years. That has certainly uh, caused me to actually toss and turn a bit and, and really wonder. And I, I wanted to find uh, confidence to vote in favor of this adoption. And so I focused on the work of the committee and of uh, Ms. De La Fuente, the, uh, the math adoption handbook that we were given, which I fully commend and share my colleagues' uh, uh, satisfaction with it. It's by far the best that I have witnessed and it's the third time that I've gone through an adoption. Those prior adoptions gave me pause. I was uh, a rookie board director and I, and I did not, I don't think I realized their, their gravity and uh, and what has really come, come squarely upon me is that this is one of the few times when we have a chance to change the direction of the school district's uh, thrust when it comes to instruction. Because in spite of all the insight about the text not being necessarily uh, su such an important element, and in fact, it in fact does dominate instruction for all but very highly skilled teachers. And I have heard that from principals and from teachers many times. So we can talk about how a good teacher can teach from any text and be successful, absolutely. But the reality is that not all of our teachers are, are, are very skilled teachers. And it's not likely that that's going to change. We are gonna be able to move it somewhat I hope, with, with professional development and with greater accountability. I look forward to that. But change happens relatively slowly in education. So I thought of my role as, as essentially checking the references. I have a book. This is my candidate. And I want to make sure that, that uh, everything that I've been told is, is factual and, and can be verified. And so I began with the, the state's differing positions, which of course everybody's familiar with. But I think it is important to understand the, the fact that the state legislature turned to the State Board of Education out of frustration with the progress of the, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction on this, in this area of instruction and gave them a mandate to oversee that work because of the lack of progress. That's my interpretation, anyway, of that action. So we're, we're left uh, with a, uh, a sword of Damocles hanging over us about whether or not this recommendation will actually uh, become a, sta a recommendation of, of our state. We can't answer that, but it does give me pause. The second uh, element that I tried to examine was uh, was the references to other districts using these materials. And I, I noted last time, and, and Ms. De La Fuente uh, very honestly and candidly uh, acknowledged that uh, San Diego Unified School District has uh, 
abandoned this particular text and has adopted a different text. Uh, and I, I try to understand their reasoning for that. And it's always complicated. But they have a high poverty, high ELL school population. And what I learned in particular was that the text-rich nature of this instruction and the, the uh, lack of, of real value as a reference material was, was particularly troubling, especially when it came to geometry, which was uh, pointed out by several folks in testimony that geometry is presented as a series of conjectures, and that is really goes against the nature of math instruction for the last many, many generations. So I'm, what, I was trying to, what I'm trying to discover is, is this the curriculum, is this material suitable for our students? Does it fit with our students and our demographic? And again, I have pause by, by doing that checking. I, I would really love to see a text that goes home in backpacks for the next dozen years or however long we hold it that can be pulled out at any kitchen table in this city and a big brother or a parent or an uncle or an aunt or a neighbor can help a student work through exercises. I want a, I want a text that is, has a lot of value as a reference material, has a lot of value and clarity for explaining mathematics even if you are not uh, a highly literate person. And that gave me pause. So you can probably guess that by now the doubts are starting to really uh, fill me. And, and my last place that I looked was what are we doing in this country to get 50% of our high school students in this state and in general across the states to standard in mathematics at high school? So for me, the real math war is between us and India, and Korea, and Japan, and Canada, and Finland, and all the other 24 OECD or industrializing countries that are already ahead of us in mathematics uh, measures of the, their, the proficiency of their students. This is where we should really be paying attention. This is where we, as a, as a, as a school district, as a city, uh, should really be uh, alarmed and, and take pause and say, we need the best instruction we can get. We need the best text we can get because our jobs are being exported to those countries where there is technical fluency, where blueprints can be done on computers by, by Indian students or, or what have you. And likewise, Microsoft uh, has to get visas for importing students. Well, those students should, for new workers, but those, those workers should be coming from our school district. So I say all that because I, when I look at the kinds of instruction that is used in those countries, it is much more of a traditional nature of directed instruction and much more based on mastery and much less of an inquiry-based model. The United States has really uniquely tried this experiment. It's gone on for a long time. I believe this text is still based on that, that kind of pedagogy, and therefore I can't support it. I support the work of this district. I support the decision of this board, whatever it may be. But I would like to see us change direction in our math instruction.